Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at installing and using the Calendar Wiz file in Microsoft Word 365. Now this is probably going to work for other versions of Microsoft Word and this is current at 2023. So firstly you're going to go to the website that I'm going to give you a link to and the link is also in the description below. Click on the download link and save the file. So this is just your Calendar Wiz file. I'm just going to click save. Once it's been saved, you can go and open it. So I'm just going to my download folder. So this is the folder in which it has been downloaded into. And I'm going to click show in folder. And I'm just going to double click to open this file in Microsoft Word. Now, as you might expect, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see that it's protected view and you can't edit it. Now I'm going to click Enable Editing, but I can't actually do that. Nothing is going to work. When I go to View and click on Macros, there is a Start Wizard macro that should start the wizard for me. But when I try to run it, it's just not working. So what I'm going to do is just close this file. And what I'm going to do then is go and open Calendar Wiz. Not double click it to run it, but actually open the file. So I'm going to choose File and then Open. I'm going to locate the calendar with file. So I have it in a folder here. I'm just going to click on it and click open. Now we get the same messages. That's just fine. But this time up the top here, instead of having a new file, we've actually got a document called calendar .wiz. Now, couple of things. If you've got Microsoft Word set up so that you can run your own local macros, all we have to do is convince Microsoft Word that this is our file, not somebody else's. So what we're going to do is we're going to save it. So I'm going to choose File, Save As. I'm going to the exact same location that I put it in previously, but I'm going to call it something else and DOT because you can't save WIZ files but we can save DOT files, which are templates. So I'm just going to call this Helen calendarwizard.dot. I'm just going to click Save. So and click Continue because there's a slight error here, but that's not going to be a big problem. Okay, so now I've got a DOT file saved on disk. I'm going to close this thing because I don't need it any longer. And now I want to make that calendar wiz file my calendar wiz file. So I'm going to open File Explorer and I'm going to go and locate this file. So I'm just going to open the file location. And here is HelenCalendarWiz.dot. Well, I'm going to rename it. And instead of DOT, I'm just going to call it WIZ. So that's making a wizard file out of it. And that's just fine. We can do it. We have to close it down, have to close the DOT file, but then we can go and rename it. And a wiz file and a DOT file are essentially the same. So this time when we double click the calendar wizard, we get the calendar wizard. And now this is just going to work perfectly. So let me just choose the style I want to use. I usually use banner. I usually use landscape. I do want to leave room for a picture. And here's my date range. So I'm going to go from January this year to, well, let's go to February 2024 because we know we can do that in this wizard. I'm just going to click next, click finish, wait a little while and here is my calendar all the way from January 2023 to February 2024. So it works. Now, the only proviso for this is that sometimes when I close Microsoft Word and then reopen it or restart my computer, then I'm not able to use that calendar with file that I just created. So all I do is just go through this exact same process. So a word of warning, make all the calendars while you're here and also make sure you bookmark this video so you can come back and work out how to do it if you forget when you next need to make calendars. So sometimes it doesn't work and sometimes it does work. So sometimes I've closed Microsoft Word, reopened it and the wizard doesn't work. So I have to go through the process again. Sometimes I've restarted my machine and the same thing happens. But then other times it does work. It's like there's no rhyme or reason to it. So it is a little bit problematic in that sense. But once you have gone through this process, you should be able to run and make your own calendars anytime. So I'm just closing Microsoft Word again and let's double click on my wizard again and just bring the calendar wizard in. So it's just working perfectly. So it's a little bit different, but you know what? If you really love Calendar Wizard and you're really, really upset that you're not able to use it or it's not working for you, then 
this works. It works. It's wonderful. It's amazing. So go and enjoy it and make lots of calendars and continue to enjoy this wonderful little wizard that we've all grown up with and we all absolutely adore. And please give this video some love. It really deserves it. Give it a thumbs up and write in the comments and tell me what sort of calendars you're making with the wizard and how much you absolutely love this tool, as of course we all do. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time, then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.